Hi there, I'm Shane Spears and welcome to another edition of the Summit Interviews, beaming out to you from the beautiful city of Bath in the UK. My guest today is Adrian Hayes. Adrian, a very warm welcome. Great to have you on the show. Morning, Shane. Good morning, everybody. For those of you that don't know him, Adrian Hayes is a British record-breaking adventurer, author, keynote speaker, business coach, documentary presenter and sustainability campaigner. Campaigner Adrian, the title of our interview today is The Real Art of Teamworks, and we have five minutes for the interview. If you're ready, I'll start the clock. Ready to rock and roll. So let's start. How important is teamwork in any size of organisation? Well, I think if you ask in any survey any that's ever been done with any corporation, and they've asked, been asked that same question, how important to teamwork is? It is, and they'll put it right up, right up the top. It's critical. And in all my work, in my development work, in leadership development, team development, we've got a lot of things we do with companies. It is usually the number one thing that comes up. They've got a team. They've got silent mentality. They've got communication problems. They want to get a team that is is bonding and working far better together. So I think us, your your clients, and everyone out there will just answer the question themselves. Mm. And do you think companies do enough work to enhance teamwork? I think they do bugger all. Uh, and that's the, that's the crazy thing about it. Every survey has shown how important it is. A survey of the top 400 CEOs, um, of the skills the workforce needs by 2030, teamwork was second only to problem solving. It's so critical. And yet companies... Um, they'll do stuff on their own personal development, leadership development for their star players. They'll do, uh, you know, career development, other things. But on actual teamwork, they do sweet FA. They do nothing. Mm. In fact, 98% of companies, all they'll do is the once a year team building day, which, you know, on, uh, you know, in that, you know, crossing a bridge with a plank of wood and two planks of wood and a bow and, uh, you know, building a structure out of, you know, cardboard and plastics or some sort of fun games, and, and they do nothing apart from give you fun. That's all they will do, and yet that's all what 98% of all teams will do to enhance the teams. And, and what do you think that is? Why does it get left to an annual exercise? It, it's a it's the great puzzle because great teams do this stuff, you know, hour after day after week. I mean, look at your, your own... New Zealand rugby team, and I've I've met Gordon Tidgens, the sevens coach. I mean, what you guys put into it, sports teams put a ton of stuff mm. into teamwork. Um, my expedition teams, I mean, I we don't leave it a chance. We put a lot of work in this thing. My, I'm an advisor on the Mars One uh, project to space, and their whole motto is not we don't select individuals, we select teams. It's so critical, and yet corporate world just thinks it can be just left to chance. It, it is very very baffling to those of us who are passionate about the subject so, you know i've been we've all been in great teams and mediocre teams and bad teams it's so critical and you just can't leave it to to happen or to a once a year team building day yeah and what are some of the skills great teams require well you know we use this word communication let's, let's be honest it's, it's one of the most overused words apart from sustainability in the English language today, it's used all the time about great communication. But what is great communication? There's a whole different raft of different levels of, different, of, of listening skills, of speaking skills, assumptions work, of feedback, all this stuff that goes under the, and many, many more, goes under the communication umbrella. So you know, it's all very well to talk about communications are key. And you know, I, I've seen this before in companies, our greatest resource are our people. And yet, we're doing very little to uh, to do anything about it. So I think great teams have got great communication, ability to speak openly, transparently, and honestly without taking things personally. And one of my key agreements I do on my teams on expeditions, we have to have the right to say anything to each other without taking it personally. Because if you've got things to take it personally, you just never get things said. Mm. And, and how do your programs develop these? Why, why are your team coaching programs unique? Uh, well, firstly, I don't do team building days. We have fun, but there's fun with a meaning. So what I do in my programs is, you know, I've, I've been in this work for like 20 odd years and, you know, it's, it's bringing a whole, the whole spectrum of, of personal development, you know, from really from the healing, counseling, therapy, mentoring, coaching, consulting, everything, that whole spectrum. But it's bringing stuff really from 
not just expedition experience, but the whole team coaching ethos, uh, my military experience and, and my corporate experience. We do things, group work, pair work, experiential work, but with a basic, you know, results driven focus. We'll have fun, yes, but it's all about achieving results because that's what teams exist for to achieve results. Yeah, fascinating. Um, that sadly we've come to the end of our time, Adrian. Uh, folks, for more resources, check out Adrian's website www.adrianhayes.com. Thank you, Adrian. That was brilliant. Thanks, everybody. Thanks.